Yo! Okay, so, I've had an idea. Hear me out. Uh, budget Daily Series. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. Welcome to the Budget Daily Series. We're doing this. Fuck it. I've bought a new car. I've got a new daily. It was super cheap. We're gonna talk about it. I'll show you in a sec. Uh, first of all, I got my nose pierced. You might be wondering why I've got a new daily uh, when I had the Passat, which I thought was the best car in the world. Well, I crashed it. Wasn't gonna tell anyone, and then I was like, fuck it, why not? Yeah, don't drive tired. That's all I can say. I'm fine, I'm completely untouched. I'm really lucky I got away with it. Um, but yeah, I nodded my head off and crashed. So, yeah. Airbags went off, so the insurance company had written it off, so I was like, right, I need a new daily. I was really close to, I was looking at BMs, because I kind of wanted something different, and I was like looking at three series, estates, because I've got to have an estate. And then I started looking at five series, because they're not that much more. And then I was like, well, I've got to get the M Sport, because it looks best. And then all of a sudden I was looking at like eight grand cars. I was really close to like doing it, and I was trying to convince myself and justifying it. And then I was like, you'll just be in the same situation as when you had the Jag, which was like, it's a nice car, but when the novelty wears off, you're driving a nice car, and then you've got to worry about it. And I don't like worrying about cars. I don't like worrying about expensive stuff. So, U-turn, fuck it, go cheap, let's find a dirt cheap Passat. So, that's what I've done. Yeah. Did that just happen? Shut up. Sorry car, didn't mean to hit you, fucking hell. Let's have a walk around, I'm gonna show you everything about this car and what my plans are basically. But we're gonna end up modifying this Passat. I've already ordered coilovers, I've already bought wheels, I've already done some shit, so. We're gonna make like a four or five part series about budget dailies, I'm gonna try and keep this all under two and a half grand. Why does this car keep locking itself? Let's go have a look. There it is then. <laughs> so, it is a B6 Passat, it's a two litre TDI, it's the Highline, so it's got like all the fancy stuff. Um, 2009 plate, super economical, it is quite ratty, uh, it needs a bit of love, but the reason I got this one is because mechanically it's sound. It's got full service history, engine runs sweet, but it is on 180,000 miles, which to me doesn't bother me at all. These engines go forever if they're well looked after, so yeah. This car cost me £1,350. It was up for like 1600 but I ended up getting him down a little bit because there's a few things that need doing. He needs a cam belt because he hasn't had that done for like 100,000 miles. And yeah, generally it just needs a few things fixing. Um, so like this, for example. Can't open the door. So you have to like reach in and open it from that way. Door mechanism still works. Still good, but you can't open it from the outside. So the handle's a bit bust. Um, the other thing is Rear window goes down, but doesn't go back up. Passenger, nothing. This one can go down, but it can't go back up. So, need to look at that, because that's really annoying, because you have to open the window with the key to unlock the door, and then you can't do the windows back up. So, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> the best thing about this car is a DSG. She's an automatic. It's got heated seats. It's got double cup holders, it's got cruise control, it's got the facelift, or like up, I don't know, like what, what would you call this, facelifted interior. So this is the same interior that my B7 had, because this is a later edition B6. So it's got like the white dials, and the nice steering wheel with all the controls. It's got the, uh, the screen thingy, <laughs> the head unit, the better head unit. Um, but I'm gonna replace this, because it doesn't have Bluetooth. She's a gem, it also, so, tinted on the rear, which is what I was gonna do anyway, so that saved me like 180 quid. It's a 2009 Passat, V6 Estate. So the body work's not great. Um, it's had like a little ding up here, so that needs sorting, maybe. It's got some rust, a little bit of rust there, and some rust bubbling there, but that's about it. Um, the panels are pretty straight. It's just got like, like that, which could be polished out. That can just be rubbed off. Um, it's just got loads of little scratches. The bumper is pretty fucked, so that probably needs respraying. Because, uh, yeah, that's just been through some abuse. Yeah, it's just like little stuff like it's obviously been driven down a bunch of trees. <laughs> um, four mint tires, so that's pretty good. The other good thing is my roof racks. I don't need to get different feet. My roof racks will just fit straight on these bars, which is good. It also has this other issue where 
if you turn left, the whole car shakes like mad. No idea what that is. I think it's to do with the bushings. I think one of the bushings or some of them are just completely gone. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had a car do that before. We're going to get Dan to have a look at that. In the next episode, we're going to fix that. We'll try to. But yeah, it's pretty gross inside. Um, so we're going to have a good clean in a minute. I need to sort out a bunch of these scratches. So yeah, Jack's going to come down. He's got a machine polisher. He's going to be here in a sec. Um, and he's going to sort that out. Basically, my plan is I just want to make this look pretty cool and see if I can do it for under two and a half grand. So, like I said, I've ordered coilovers. I've got wheels, they're the Audi A3 wheels. Just tied it up a bit, see if I can make it look mint. And yeah, it's basically the perfect daily. All right, so just before Jack gets here um, and we give the piss rat a little detail. Oh, I also need a name for it. My other one was called Piss Rat. Piss Rat 2. That'll do. Um, let's do the giveaway. This is the winner from last week. You win the hat. And this week, I don't think I've actually shown you guys these because these are pretty cool. Um, but it's getting cold, so we're going to do a hoodie giveaway. Um, and these are our new hoodies. These are called the neon hoodies. Um, you've got print there, you've got sleeve print, and this sick back print. Um, these are our custom hoodies, so these are like real thick. They're really warm. They've got the new updated tags. Um, they're real warm inside. These are our Portugal stuff, so the quality is like insane. I'm gonna give away one of these to one of you guys. All you gotta do is drop a comment. Leave me a comment if, if you're keen for this build series idea for the, the budget daily. Comment what you think I should do to this car. Comment some ideas. Yeah, just drop me a comment. Anything and you'll, uh, you'll be entered to win this hoodie. These are also on our website now. If you wanna grab one of these, you get free shipping, free lanyard, free stickers. Um, I'll put the link in the description down below. Oh, it's Min. Yeah, let's get in there. Engine swapped it last yeah. month. You engine swapped it? Yeah. What's in it now? M52 TU. Technical update. Yeah. Right, plan for this then? Take it out, Yeah. I reckon. Snow foam it, rinse it off, clay bar, polish. Sick. Dress it up. We'll just do a, a quick one. We don't need to, it doesn't need a full two day detail, does it? No, we'll just try and bang it out and yeah. do our best. Sick. Like that. This is definitely the first time this car has ever been snow foamed. This is going to so many people off. <laughs> Do you reckon it smells like lube from condoms? Do you know that like tea smell? See, it looks good now. I'm gonna rip them badges off actually today, don't worry about it. <laughs> Where else can I do? <laughs> too little, too late, I reckon. What's that mean? It's a 1300 pound car. <laughs> oh, it'll be all right. <laughs> Send it back to a Volkswagen Gloucester. Hi. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's all very like overwhelming. I feel like Picasso with an empty palette, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> We've got no paint to work with, I don't know where to go. <laughs> using a blade to get this shit off, I don't even care. <laughs> Is it working? Oh yeah. I want that red one to come off. You doing it? No. Just get a sandblaster up. Oh, it's getting the tire off. That's lovely. That is going to be the most filthy clay bar after you're done. Yeah, I'm going to throw it in a bit. Go back to the quarry, get some more clay. <laughs> <laughs>
That actually looks so good now, doesn't it? It does, it looks good. Yeah, no swirls. Actually got out like all of the um, bush scratches, didn't it? Yeah. They were really bad though. Like I didn't really walk around it before, but you spotted, didn't you? Like, yeah, there was like a massive like black streak around here. I don't know what it was, but that polished out. Everything polished out, really. Yeah. Just need to get the rear bumper painted. Some new number plates. Should be mint. Cleaned all the inside as well. That was fucking absolute shit hole. Mint now. All fresh. Look at this as well. Look at the spec of this like rear armrest. So you got an armrest. And that lifts up, and you've got a little cubby hole in there, and then you've got cup holders there. We've just added value today, haven't we? <laughs> We're absolute wheeler dealers. <laughs> I reckon we've just added about 700 quid to the value of this car. Definitely. In like four hours. Absolute dream car. Mate, clay barred and polished cars just feel so good, don't they? If you did a bum slide, you know, if you did like a running bonnet slide. Yeah, like, yeah, I do it, I do it to my car all the time. You'd actually fly? If I go down, you put your baby on it, it just like... Skip off the edge. Put a baby on it? Yeah. This is like a dad in a sack, put the baby on the edge and then off it goes. <laughs> Social services get involved. Debadging worked quite well. Can't even see it. Yeah, that worked really well, didn't it? Fucking hell, you literally can't see it. Mint! What a buy. Sam, cheers for you up. That's right, no worries. Done a top job. Okay, we're back. This is my job right now. Let's see if we can fix this or figure out why it's not working. Okay. I'm going to see if I can show you that. That's cracked. That's what that little fork pulls to open the door. So he's broken, which is annoying. Cause that means I've got to get a new opening, locking mechanism, strip the door and long. I was hoping that'd be an easy fix, but looks like I'm gonna order some parts. That movement is like the, the broken plastic just flexing basically. You bastard. All right, I'm gonna call it here on this video cause there's not much further I can do. I've got to wait on the door handle part and I'm gonna get a switch for the the window stuff. Um, so next video, we're booked in with Dan. We've got the rear end to sort out. We've got those little bits to sort out. I got some servicing to do. I got to basically make sure it's all lush and running mint. And then, uh, yeah, coilovers, wheels, and then some more bits. Um, drop us a comment down below. Let me know what you think I should do to this car. Just leave a comment, anything down below, and you will win this hoodie. Also, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, but we did. We had a new uh, new drop that came in a few few months ago, a few weeks ago, but I don't think I ever showed YouTube. Um, so we've got some joggers in grey and we've got joggers in black. Um, we've got the hoodies. We do the hoodies in blank as well, so they've got no print on them. So they're just nice quality hoodies. Um, and then we've got the neon hoodies. We've got Volt tees, which you've seen. Uh, that's what I've been wearing all this video. It's one of these with the back print. And then we've got the shorts as well, um, which we're running very low on. We've run out of large, we've only got a few mediums left. So if you wanna get some shorts, be quick, because these aren't coming back for a while. Hit up the website, the link is in the description down below. You get free shipping over 50 quid, you get free lanyard over 30 quid, you get free stickers with all orders. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hope you're excited for this Passat build series. I know this kind of came out of nowhere, but I thought it'd be funny. I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, goodbye.